Chapter 5, A New Master Takes Over. As I waited, things got worse. I reached the lowest point I could remember. It was a particularly hard time, when all the inhabitants of the palace seemed to be troubling me all at once. They had heard whispers about the shaky future of the business. I had been building up for years, and when they thought I might be having some trouble with my finances, they saw an even better opportunity to oust me from my palace. It was a dark time. There seemed no way out. Then, one particular day, something happened which I hadn't anticipated. A visit from the One Himself. He arrived for an unexpected visit. That day will never be forgotten. And the days afterwards, these were days when nothing else mattered. Many books could be filled telling of his visitation. And the things he said. The first thing I heard was... I am sovereignly taking over all your affairs. I remember it clearly. He didn't ask me. I wasn't given any choice. I remember that. Those first days seemed to be a whole age of travail and war. I felt like I was in the midst of a heaving, birthing process. I felt like I was surrounded by the pressing and the pain. Like being suspended in a gulf between darkness and hope. I was taken into battlefields, tasting and smelling the struggles. How long this lasted, what form it was taking, I am not able to say. But after some time, it began to change. He spoke to me so clearly, soon after that time.
I want you now to turn your face towards me. And towards nothing else. I could see instantly that if I directed my vision towards him in this way, it would be for the rest of my life. But I knew I would never be the same. And that this was the way to no longer go to Egypt and its horses. But the scary thing was that I caught a glimpse of all the normal things I would be giving up. Friends noticed changes, but had no idea of the euphoria bubbling up within. And whenever I tried to tell them, it came out all wrong. I had no means of describing the places and the height. that he was transporting me to. And I didn't mind this sort of isolation. For the master was filling all of me. There was no loneliness in this place. <laughs> 